Have you ever thought about why so many famous CEOs, like Steve Jobs, loved to have meetings while walking? Or have you noticed that the most active and successful individuals you know consistently make time for the gym, regardless of their busy schedules? I studied the habits of these successful people for years and found a very intriguing secret. They aren't just working out to stay fit. They are intentionally improving their brains by being active. And such activity isn't just a trick for living better. It's a strong biological process that has been proven by more than 20 years of research by a Harvard professor. Most of us are making mistakes. When we're stressed, foggy, or unfocused, we try to fix our brains by adding more software. We buy time management courses, download productivity apps, and even look for smart drugs to help us get ahead. But we're not even close to the real problem. The main problem isn't our software, it's the power supply for our hardware. Think about having a brand new high-end laptop. It is very fast and powerful, but you're trying to use a cheap broken charger that doesn't stay connected. What goes on? It always freezes, lags, and doesn't work as well as it should. That's what we do to our brains when we don't pay attention to our bodies. We're trying to make the system work better, but we keep forgetting to plug it in right. So how does exercise work as the perfect original brand charger for our brains? Well, doctor, John Rady from Harvard Medical School has identified three amazing ways it works. First, exercise makes what scientists call miracle grow for your brain. Moving your body makes a strong protein called BDNF. Think of it as brain cell fertilizer. It helps make new neurons and makes the connections between them stronger. Think of your brain as a city that is always busy. Living a sedentary lifestyle can impede the flow of your thoughts and ideas. But when you work out, it's like your brain builds new highways and overpasses that let information move faster and more easily. Such an idea is more than just a nice thought. The Zero Hour PE program was a famous experiment in which a high school made its students run and work out before class. What happened? Their scores in reading and understanding went up a lot. They were really improving brains. Second, exercise is like taking an antidepressant and an anti-anxiety drug at the same time. Exercise naturally raises the levels of serotonin and dopamine in your brain. These are the same feel-good chemicals that many antidepressant drugs work on. The amygdala is a part of your brain that helps you feel fear and anxiety. Exercise is like a gentle hand that lowers the volume of this alarm system from 10 to 3. Things that used to make you feel overwhelmed or stressed out are now much easier to deal with. Studies from Germany have shown that, for some people, a regular running program can be just as effective as medication for treating depression. This is a surprising fact. And third, exercise is the best way to change your focus. It quickly sharpens the prefrontal cortex, which is the part of your brain right behind your forehead. This is the CEO of your brain. It makes decisions and plans and keeps you focused. Brain scans show that only 20 minutes of moderate activity, like a brisk walk, can put this part of your brain into high-definition mode. This is why you suddenly feel clearer and better able to handle difficult problems after a short workout. It instantly improves your ability to focus. And this advice gives you some great ways to get things done every day. Paying attention to the last tip is crucial for learning anything new. This all sounds wonderful, but how do you get started? You don't have to run a marathon. Here are three easy, useful things you can do right now to improve your brain. The 20 Minute Brain Reboot is the first. Do something that makes your heart race and makes you break a light sweat for 20 minutes before you start a big project or a long study session. You could go for a brisk walk outside, jump rope, or even just dance to a few songs in your living room. The point isn't to burn calories, it's to wake up your prefrontal cortex. It's like the last step in the launch sequence for your most important work. Second, try the learn after lunge strategy. This is the one I like best. One of the most important things the research found is that our brains can learn and take in new information 20% better in the two hours after we work out. This period is when that miracle grow for your brain is at its best. 
Plan to do your most important learning activities after you work out. You'll learn faster and remember more, whether you're studying for a test, learning a new language, or practicing an instrument. You learn after you move. That's all there is to it. And last but not least, the third tip. Welcome to the walking meeting. Do you remember Steve Jobs? This tip was his secret weapon. Put on your headphones and walk the next time you talk on the phone or in person. A moving body makes a moving mind. It helps your thoughts flow more easily and also calms down any stress or tension in the conversation. When you think about working out again, don't just consider it to be something for your body. Think of it as putting money on your mind. You get better focus, a better mood, and a better memory for every drop of sweat. Don't think of your brain and body as two separate things. Your laptop or phone is not the most powerful tool for getting things done. It's your shoes. What can you do this week to get your body moving and your brain working? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked this video, please click the like button and subscribe to MindDoc for more science-based tips to help you do well. Thanks for watching.